We're back with your Legal Edge report, and joining us as always is Brian Waldman for Sinus Dramus Law Firm. So tonight we're talking about the legal battle over gerrymandering in our state. A court will have to decide on if a ballot initiative to change how legislative districts are drawn will go before a vote in November. So what can you tell us about this case? Sure. Besides that it's pretty complicated. <laughs> right. So the case was recently argued before the Michigan Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Essentially it does. It involves gerrymandering, which is efforts to redraw the lines that define districts right. uh, to give one party or another an advantage, mm -hmm. what some most would say is an unfair advantage. And so most people can agree that gerrymandering is not a good thing. Most mm -hmm. people can agree that both political parties try to do it. Mm -hmm. And so citizens came forward and have put together a ballot proposal or initiative that seeks to change the way that those legislative boundaries are drawn. Okay, so what is a ballot initiative and how does this ballot initiative attempt to change the way the legislative districts are drawn? A ballot initiative is essentially a way that citizens can put something on the ballot to decide whether or not to uh, put forth a new statute, change a statute, or amend the Michigan Constitution. So the way that Michigan does it now yeah. is the legislature draws the the boundaries for the districts mm -hmm. and uh, they're redrawn every 10 years after the US Census so whatever political party has power after the census right. the last time being 2010 they have the ability to try and redraw those lines to favor their team or their party. Okay. If the group who's trying to put this initiative on the ballot has the signatures, why is it going before the Supreme Court? Michigan right. Supreme Court? So, the, so the group uh, easily got the signatures yeah. required to get the issue on the ballot, but it's now being challenged by another group who says that this goes too far. It does more than amends the Constitution. That you can amend the Constitution through a ballot initiative or a ballot proposal like this. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to actually revise the Constitution and not amend it, you need to go to a, a constitutional convention. Okay. The Michigan Court of Appeals has already ruled on this issue okay. and ruled that even though it's a lengthy ballot proposal with a lot of words mm -hmm. that revises a, a number of provisions in the Constitution, it's more like an amendment than a total rewrite or a revision of the Constitution okay, and that so it ought to be placed on the ballot and decided by the voters but we'll wait to see whether or not the Supreme Court agrees. Okay, Brian, thank you so much for great information and you broke it down so that I could understand it and we could understand it. Appreciate that right. and giving us the legal edge. Thank, thank you. you.